Hey. Hi. Hey, it's the pre-show. What's up? It's Friday the the uh, the 25th of February. 2022. Oh yeah, we're previewing previewing Trilogy Part 3 White tonight. That's right. We have a little taste of where I'm at, what's going on, what's cooking. You know, the whole skinny. You're going to know all about it. All right. Plus a few other things thrown in for good measure. Yeah. All right. Where are you guys from? Happy Friday. LaShawn is in frigid Austin, Texas. I don't fully believe that. Is it, is it snowing there? It's, it's still snowing in Chicago. We're going to have some stay with us tonight. Stay with it. Yes. Absolutely. All right, I got, I'll, I'll give you a stay with it moment later tonight, just for you guys in Austin. All right. Uh, Israel in Ecuador. In the house. What up? All right. Uh, Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Hello, John. What's going on? All right, Sheila in Bakersfield, California. Hey, hey, hey. John L. Miller. Yes. Hot Western Australia. All right. It's Saturday morning to you. Uh, good day. <laughs> uh, frigid Tulsa. Is it? What happened? Is it cold everywhere? What's going on? Well, not in Australia. It's summertime. Happy summer to you. Uh, it's a cool thing. It's summer down there because you can listen to this part three of the trilogy in in our winter. But you'll be good. Just saying. Maybe the winter stories, you gotta flip it to June and July. Anyway, all right, uh, enough of that. Uh, Allison Fader says, hey, Kurt, Daphne, and Linda. Hey. Uh, Northwest Indiana is here, hi. All right. Uh, greetings from Franklin, Tennessee, Joan. Hello, Joan, what's going on? I like Franklin, it's so chill out there. Uh, I did a session out there. Michael McDonald used to live in Franklin. He had a recording studio on a farm. And we recorded. It was a like 100-year-old farmhouse. It was really cool. Anyway. Uh, Monica's in Bra- Bradenton, Florida. I'm assuming it's not frigid there. I don't know. We'll see. Shout out to the crew. Tonda Hill. What up? Uh, D- Doug and Doug from Grand Rapids checking in. You're present. I see you. Neptune Beach, Florida. Where is Neptune Beach? I don't know where that is. Hey, we're doing the white preview tonight. I don't have any sun in my face today. It is, I am, I'm full on winter white. <laughs> Let's, me and Peter White once did a, a contest. We pulled our sleeves up to see who was the whitest. And so you do this, you know. <laughs> Here, here's how you do it. You put, for some reason, underneath the forearm is the whitest spot on your situation, except the bum, maybe. I don't know. It's pretty white, but Peter did win. I'm just saying. <laughs> he, he definitely edged me out. He was almost translucent. It was extremely. <laughs> you could see the veins in there. It was amazing. Anyway, what else is going on? Uh, the Ice Age has hit DFW. Stay with it. For reals. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we're doing that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm in a, I'm in a mood tonight. Uh, yeah. I, I've gotten a little loopy. I'm not going to lie. I've been working on uh, this record just like nonstop. Trying to get it done. All the, you know, final touches. It's a lot going on. Another Friday night out. I see what you did there, Glenn. Nice. <laughs> uh, what else? What else is cooking? I don't know. I'm drinking a mo. No, I'm drinking a uh, gin and tonic tonight. I'm flipping it up. I'll tell you why. Flipping it up. Gin and t- G and T tonight. Shout out to all the Brits watching late at night. Put it in a tall glass. Is this? I don't know. Is this appropriate? I think so. I think whatever you want to do is appropriate. That's my opinion on alcoholic adult beverages. Mmm. 
It's delicious. Plymouth London Dry Gin. Uh, some, was it Fever Tree tonic water? And a good old lime. Yes. I don't think I've ever drank a gin and tonic on the hang, but you know what? There's always first, and tonight it's happening. Uh, Jamaica Queens is here. What's up, Robert? What's happening? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Seattle, Washington is here. Hello, Patricia. And Barbara Hills hanging out in Detroit. What up, Detroit? Uh huh. Mmm. LaRon is still vibing with her wine, though. I'm done with that. What are you going to do? Everybody got the thing. All right. Uh, Larry says, Hello, Marjorie. How are you? Bev says, Hi, too. See, people have be having private conversations on the chat. I don't even know who any of you are. I'm just messing with you. I love it. Hey, are you ready for the show? Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Mm. Hey, it's Brian Culbertson. We're live. And it's Friday night. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. What's up, folks? It's Brian Culbertson. Working on my diction tonight. It's gonna get progressively worse as I drink Come this. On. What? It's Friday night. Mm. It's Friday night. Sing along, everybody. What? It's Friday night. night, 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 night. It's Friday night. I put a hard T on it. What? Come on. <laughs> it's Friday night, and we're hanging out. Just drink some gin and tonic in the studio. In the studio. 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 It's Friday night. It's Friday night. And we're hanging out. We're hanging out. Just drink some wine in the studio. Studio. It's Friday night. Yeah. It's Friday night. Mm -hmm. Sing a song. It's Friday night. Night, 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 night. It's Friday night. Yeah, yeah. All right. There it is. That's the <laughs> the live version. Uh, you know, that was the live in Chicago version of It's Friday Night. How you guys doing? I'm feeling pretty good. It's the uh, it's the end of February, shortest month of the year. Uh, that's a fun fact from the internet. I found out. I don't know. <laughs> is it? Did you know? I actually don't know why it's the shortest shortest month of the year. Did you do you know? If you know, is there like an actual reason? Mm. I actually read um, the Earth takes 365 days, like, and point two, or something. It's something like that. Maybe that's you know that's why there's a leap year. I guess it's point two five. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, so tonight we're going to talk about uh, the new album, In Progress. It's not done yet. Uh, this is just what I've got cooking. It's close to being done. It's going to be done in about a month or so. So I'm in the mix phase, or just starting the mixing, and still uh, producing a handful of the last remaining tracks before I send it off to Bob Horn to start mixing. So what I'm going to do uh, for you guys tonight, I'm going to play you current mixes of uh, a bunch of the songs. Just to let you know where we're at, in addition to some other songs. Should we get a drink? I think so. Oh, and by the way, there's an oh, by the way. Uh, next week, I got, I got a little something for you. Next week, on the show, both of these things. Are you ready? On the show. Here it is. Yes. Uh, Darren Ron will be on the show next week. He has a new CD coming out March 4th. I'm also going to be drinking Charles Krug wine. If you haven't had it, it's phenomenal. It's fantastic. I believe it's the oldest winery in Napa Valley. Did you know that? Little B's hanging out. What up? Yeah. All right, so now you know. Next week. 
You may notice also, the studio has a little facelift. Not really a facelift, just a, a change in scenery. Uh, the old wine bottles went away. Uh, but I brought in some new keyboards. So we'll talk about that later too. It's fun stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna fade this up. Fade, 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 fade. Okay, what we're gonna do is this. I don't know why I'm whispering. whispering. Uh, we're gonna play track one as it currently stands, off of the Trilogy Part 3, White. Here's the cover. I just uh, posted this today. There it is. It's very, very bright. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Take a good look. <laughs> so the red and blue Trilogy covers, uh, they had this, uh, you know, more of a red and blue hue to it. The problem is uh, you, you can't do just an all-white hue onto a, a thing. It just turns it all white, so you can't even see anything. So I decided to do this white triangle up in the corner that glows on, down onto the face and the whole thing, but the fonts are the same. So there's, like, you know, cohesiveness in the artwork. So let me play you track one. This is Stars, and it does have an introduction or a prelude if you will, and uh, I'll let it play. Mm -hmm. All right. Currently being mixed, not done. stars.
sing along? One, Stars. You see, part three of the trilogy is the happy album, uplifting. You know, you can already tell. So the intro to that, the prelude, was meant to be kind of a transitional piece from, because we're coming from red, right, into blue, hmm, and then it needs to ramp back in into white all right this is not track two but i'm skipping ahead a little bit this is track three in fact and ladies this was called red shoes where are them red shoes in the in the chat Tonic. right here summer record
need an umbrella in my drink. Thanks, Belinda. Mm. Brand new red shoes. Must have been that title. Aaron Hall is like, it should be called Red Shoes because Buffy was always putting. The red shoe emoji in the chat when we were making it, you know, on the Monday hangs, right? And uh, at first I was like, ah, ha, 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 red shoes. But it grew on me. So there it is. There's the title. <laughs> and it just makes sense, you know. It's pretty fun. All right, we're going we're gonna to switch it up. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do, we're gonna do a, a song from 20. We're going to chill out for a minute. Whoa. Time flies. Trilogy's almost done, can you believe it? Ah. Teach me to read in the chat. What?
Time flies. That's true. It does. February 25th. The end of February. Almost. Ah, uh, well, that's that's a fun song. I always love playing that song. My bad on that one note. I told you. It's, it's, it's the chat's fault. It's my <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious all right what's what's next what's next all right let's play um let me give you a little preview this is a rough mix uh see a lot of these songs that i'm gonna play you tonight from the white uh cd is not they're not mixed yet they're not definitely not mastered um so you know they're just work in progress where there's where they stand um so this is the next one i just did a little rough mix of this believe it or not one hour ago so uh i hope it still sounds good We'll find out. This one's uh, this is kind of a cute song. It's called, uh, everyone's like, oh, that's cute. It's called Just You and Me. All right. Here it is. Just You and Me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Funky there. Thank you. 
That's got a vibe, right? <laughs> I love that. Yes, I just laid this new part. Uh, I was working on this track today, in fact. I got this keyboard, it's, uh, a Moog. Is old, you know, it's, it's brand new, but it's analog, you know, analog keys. I got all this analog stuff I'm, I'm digging right now. And uh, I just started scrolling through sounds while I was working on this track, you know, just trying to add little, you know, the ear candy stuff, the fun things that make you be like, ooh, that's cool, you know. So I just, I played one note. I was scrolling through and I hear, heard this note and it went, I was like, what, what the heck is that? So I, I just heard this. But it's all weird and jacked up and funky and has, it goes out of tune and all kinds of weird stuff. That's analog stuff, right? I love that stuff. So I just threw that in the background. Uh, just kind of adds a little extra vibe on there. <laughs> ah, I love that. I love that. Uh, so check this out. We do have a request. We, 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 we do have a request tonight. A hand club request. And uh, are you ready for it? We're, we're going to go... Uh, we're gonna get real ooh for a minute. All right, here it is, here it is. Hi, Brian, it's Jesslyn. So, you already know how much in love I am with your music, but lately I have been digging on Infatuation, Red. It speaks to me. There's a conversation going on there that's simply gorgeous. I love it, I listen to it all the time. It's my request, can you play it for me? Thank you.
Thanks, Jess. That's an intense song right there. All right, we'll turn the lights back on. Hi. Whoo, infatuation. That's from part one of the trilogy, the red part. Do you see why it's red? <laughs> um, so those of you, you know, hearing some of these songs from part three for the first time tonight, uh, and if you've heard part one and two already, you kind of see this progression of why the trilogy is, is even happening, you know? Um, I've said this before, I, you know, when I was first making the record, I didn't even set out to make a trilogy. I was just writing new songs, and they just kind of fell into these three categories. And I had some extra time on my hands. I'm like, well, let's do it. So that's, that's what happened. Uh, oh, guess what? It's time. Where, where's that button? There it is. It's time for some birthday shout outs. Yeah, we're going to pick it back up. Oh, yeah, we're going to get celebratory right now. Uh, first of all, happy birthday to Chance Howard. What up, Chance? Up in the Twin Cities. Hey, 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 Chance, my man. Uh, also, hand club members Benny Cooper, Terry Cooper, Robert Kriegmer, Tia Davis, Terry Eklund, Rakesha Foster. What up? Uh, Dina Jolly. Hey. Uh, Brad Kennedy. Carrie Knight and Lula Knight, Marcy Lohr, Lohr, <laughs> Bianca Bandina, what up Bianca, Ethel Nav or Nave, I'm not sure, Luann Taylor and Mike Teagart, we also got three anniversaries celebrating this week, oh boy, Andy and Amanda Morgan actually just got married so congrats. We got Mick and Sue Rasmussen celebrating 43 years. And Rudolph and Thelma Range celebrating, are you ready for this? 67 years. What? You get extra balloons. Uh, are they, can you, should we, oh, wait, hold on. Extra balloons for <laughs> Rudolph and Thelma Range. Uh, 67 years. Congrats, you guys. Uh, okay. Let's, there it is. Uh, shall we do a, a, a fun hang out on the beach song? Let's do that because uh, here's another song from the, uh, the upcoming part three of the trilogy. And this one uh, is another fun song. I like this one a lot. It's going to set you up. I'm a, a de you definitely need either a margarita. Here, there's three drinks or maybe four drinks you could do while listening to this. So margarita. Uh, you, you type in the chat which one you prefer. So margarita, mojito, mm -hmm. a blue moon with a slice of orange, or, uh, I don't know, some rum situation. I don't really drink that, but maybe you guys do. All right? Here you go. Sandcastles. Rough mix. Everybody snap along. It's a snapping song.
strawberry mojito. guitar and bass. Here we go. castles. There's kind of like a throwback, a throwback vibe on there, right? I don't know. Is, I'm digging that one. Uh, Jerry Johnson on guitar right there. Maurice Fitzgerald on the bass. Um, and then I guess I played all the other parts. Yeah, there's a lot of percussion on that, real percussion bell tree and just all kinds of cool stuff going on that was a lot of fun yeah makes me want to sit on the beach right now uh yeah but next next best thing <laughs> i told you it's a, it's a summer vibe kind of record that's why it's coming out coming out in may excuse me mm. what else we got all right we're gonna go and we're gonna go to the next song this one gets a little um uh, let me set this down all right so this is also uh, new music, and uh, this has a little vibe on it. So uh, this one's more about, uh, so you know, the, the trilogy is about this long-term relationship, right? Part three, uh, you've been together a long time, and it's just, you know, blissful. But sometimes you, you get into a deep conversation, you know, about what's going on, about life, about all these things. And that's, that's what this song is about, conversations. Yeah. Brand new. Rough mix.
playing bass on this one. I played all the instruments on this song. Everything. a vocoder effect through this keyboard talking and stuff kalimba dulcimer drums Candy. Mm. Conversations. It's a vibe, right? You know, but still uh, fits in with this whole arc of this of this love story. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mm. By the way, um, yeah, uh, it's snowing out here <laughs> in Chicago. It's snowing. So, um, you know, we're going to have a little moment. And this was people today. Remember this? Everyone in Chicago, 
Right there, right there. <laughs> I played this a year ago, and it still is funny. He finally, he just gave up. Forget it. Eh, forget it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so what we'll do is uh, we'll do a bit of, of this. In honor of the winter weather we're having in good old, good old Chicago, and probably, you know, all over this area, we're going to do a little, a little something right now. <laughs> all right.
I like playing that song. Yeah. I like it. So I do it. <laughs> there you go. Can I play a couple more? I know uh, we're getting close to the top of the hour, but uh, I, I, got, I got a couple more songs I want to play you guys. And uh, this next one, this is still untitled, actually. Untitled, uh, you know, there's a bunch of working titles going that, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so this, oh, no. The, so we're just going to let you hear it, all right? So clearly within the trilogy, there's random uh, environmental soundscapes. You know what that means? Here it is. All right, this is track, this is track eight on trilogy part three. We're starting to mix this one. I think we should call it Let's Get Away. Let's Get Away. Our Getaway. I played all the instruments, so guitar, Paul Jackson Jr., Isaiah Sharkey. away with you. That's a good title. Let's hide away.
private hideaway. Isaiah Sharkey on guitar. Ken Wells is like, this is some open sunroof highway drive music. I'm with that. I'm with that. All right, here's, here's one more track. Uh, and this is track nine. It's called Everlasting. Everlasting. And then, uh, then I'll let you guys go. Remember this love story. It's a long love story. I feel Trilogy is like this three-hour movie, you know? You, it's epic. end of a concert get your lighters 
Everlasting. Well, there it was. There's a few more songs on that record, but we don't have all the time. You'll hear them in due time. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little preview tonight. Well, that was more than a preview. That was, yeah. Well, you know, there it is. So that's what's cooking. Uh, that's where everything is right now. Still uh, being worked on. Um final production, mixing, and then mastering in about a month. And then, uh, you know, then we're good to go. Coming out May 6th. May 6th. Here's the cover again. You know, happy music. But still soulful and, and trying to reach deep, you know, emotional. Yeah. All right, cool. But wait, we still have to do this. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we do. Oh, man. I suck this down. I need a refill. <laughs> All right, hope you had a good time tonight, you guys. Mm. Can you sing it? It's Friday night. That's right, it's still Friday. Uh huh. It's Friday night. know uh next week like i told you i'm gonna be drinking charles krug wine get you some and uh darren ron is gonna be special guest his new album comes out next week what it's friday night yeah it is what it's friday night it's friday night Kind of do anything right there, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, there, yeah, there it was. Uh, see y'all in the chat. Mm hmm. All right. Hey, that was fun tonight. It's uh, it's fun sometimes when I can kick back and just kind of listen, you know, take stock in what we got. So uh, thanks for listening with me. Oh, yeah. Remember, uh, Blue is out. So, uh, you know, and Red, of course, came out in the fall. But, uh, you know, getting ready for the white release on May 6th. Be sure to, 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 you know, bone up on your Red and your Blue listening so that when May 6th comes around, you're ready for white. Yeah. Just saying. It's like a whole thing. It's a situation. You gotta get ready. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. And I hope you can all kind of feel the, you know, r really the arc and the theme and the sonic production value of, of this whole trilogy is kind of in the same lane, even though each one has its own flavor. Each album, that is. It's still, uh, you know, kind of made at the same time and, uh, you know, a lot of vocals, me singing throughout, playing most of the parts. Anyway, it's been a cool thing. So, anyway, uh, thanks, you guys. 
Yeah, thanks, Jess, for the uh, request. Uh, let's see, what color album is next? That's all it is, it's a trilogy. It's over. It'll be over. But you have it forever, so it's all good. Hey, where did I get my shirt, someone's asking me. Uh, I actually got this in uh, Tokyo uh, a few years back, uh, a couple years ago when we were there. So, uh, hello to anyone in Japan watching right now. What's up? Uh, hopefully we get back there, you know, as soon as we can. Uh, we miss you guys. Uh, what else is going on? I don't know. You know. Just excited about finishing this new record. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, the new Darren Ron album, uh, I actually played and co-produced one of the songs on there. That's why uh, he's going to be a guest next week, and we're really excited about that. So we're going to do that song and his current single on the radio. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um... So that's next week, March 4th. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get your Charles Krug wine for next week. Right now, I don't have a deal on it, but I'm working on it. <laughs> this is not a jacket. This is a shirt. It has pictures on it. It's like photograph shirt. It's a photo shirt. Yeah, there it is. All right. So Mardi Gras is March 1st. Okay. Good to know. Isn't that late? I thought it was normally uh, in February. Anyway, thanks, everybody. <laughs> ah. All right. Thank you. Good night, everybody. See you next week.